Do you think uh, that Italy is a role model to follow to fight the virus? <laughs> Ormai sono 13 mesi che viviamo in una situazione molto insolita. I nostri spostamenti devono essere sempre giustificati. C'è il coprifuoco, bisogna usare la mascherina all'aperto sempre e comunque. Moltissimi locali sono chiusi. Stiamo così abituati a queste restrizioni che ci sembrano inevitabili. Eppure non è così. Infatti altri paesi non hanno adottato queste scelte. Uno degli esempi è la Svezia. In Svezia infatti la situazione è molto diversa. Non c'è mai stato l'obbligo di mascherina, non c'è mai stato l'obbligo di dover stare a casa, gli spostamenti sono liberi e molti dei locali sono comunque aperti. Qualche mese fa sono andato in Svezia per vedere come convivono con la pandemia gli svedesi. La differenza nella vita di tutti i giorni è impressionante. Ho quindi voluto mostrare a loro le restrizioni che siamo costretti a rispettare e ho filmato la loro reazione. Per essere un popolo che consideriamo freddo, devo dire che hanno reagito in maniera molto sorprendente. To move, we need a special reason. So we have like to put here work. Um, if we are sick, you are going to the hospital. So, so they stop you in the street and you have to show them this. Or if you don't have, they give you review one. So okay. like you need to prove that you are uh, doing something that uh, is legal. <laughs> so I want to ask you your opinion about this. For, for me personally, I, I feel very, very validated that, that somebody would have to go and ask me what, what are you doing outside as a grown being. I would feel like I'm six years old mm. with somebody always asking what are you doing, why and, and having to just, justify myself. I think that will make people really, really crazy and angry because Swedish people are, people are really used to live in not very under the strict rules. They have been always relaxed. You never needed to push too much Swedish people to make them follow the rules because they usually do it by themselves. Mm, the Swedish people would think. I think that would be a big demonstration, more or less. I don't believe um, people would really uh, be open to that. But they would be angry because of what exactly? Privacy? Because you didn't ask me. Mm. Uh, so that's how they, most people think. You didn't ask me. Ah, okay. I, did, I, I didn't ask for this. Yeah, because then they would probably call it dictatorship and you know. They are checking the drones? Mm hmm. Yeah, it was in Rimini. Aha, Rimini. Mm. Yeah. I see the drones and everything too. Catch. <laughs> to catch people. One guy alone. Yeah, totally alone on the beach. What the heck? What can you be like uh, for risk? Ah, <laughs> uh, this I think is totally out of sense. He's getting fine? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, <laughs> now now this is like totally do not agree. <laughs> okay. It's like, I mean, it's super clear like this guy can't, doesn't harm, harm or do, do any risk for mm. other people. Like, Yeah, so the police wow. checks if there are people or if they are alone. <laughs> so they, they go around the beach and... Yes, they check. And were, were people allowed to be there? I know, people weren't, weren't allowed to go out. And, and what, what would happen to this guy then? Yeah, they were fine. How, how much? Yeah, between 400 and 1000. 400? Yeah, and 1000 euros? Yes. That's a, that's a lot of money for somebody who just want to relax on the... Yeah. Well, it's finished at the part I wanted to show you. You have drones, as, police drones as well. Yeah, to check. This kind of thing. So what crazy. is your opinion? <laughs> it's crazy. It's so un, un, unfathomable. But that's what they do? They, they search for people? Yeah. Like a manhunt? Yeah. yeah, in the park and in the, wow. uh, in the beach. Uh, what do you think uh, about it? <laughs> It's very totalitarian <laughs> from my Swedish point of view, you know. <laughs> What would the Swedish people think if something like the video I show you would happen here? I think I think that that would lead to severely riots. Ah. And and the Swedish government they don't have a, a right to tell people not mm. to be in a place. That's mm. not that's not no right they have according to Swedish uh, laws. Mm. What would happen if it was here? Like 
what the people would think of something like this like the rule is you oh you that would laugh. be yeah that, i mean there would be a lot of writing in the media about that this is not an effective way to to fight the mm. pandemic and is this really the way that we should use our tax money mm. there should be there would be tons of mm. articles about how useless that this would be okay. that is what i believe ah so you mean and then i mean in the good media not in the small media okay but <coughs> do you think uh, if we if it was happening here how the swedish people would react like they, they I think I, to go out, not even I don't even I can't even imagine <laughs> Swedish people feeling like they're in lockdown in jail mm. uh, I, I can't even imagine mm. it I, I I don't think like I said before I don't think it will be a good reaction mm. uh, it will be angry. very angry especially on social media <laughs> Do you think that Italy is a role model to follow from other countries? No. Okay. <laughs> no. No, I don't think so. I understand why they do it. I mean, but in this, like, like you showed in the video, I think it's too extreme. Mm -hmm. That's not making the, the, the thing better. Mm -hmm. to say. Do you think that Italy is a model to follow? Italy? No? Yeah, in no. order to... Uh, no. <laughs> We're a model to follow. Italy is a role model to follow, to fight the pandemic. <laughs> you can uh, be honest. <laughs> yeah, well, there are two sides to this. It's the physical health and it's the mental health. And the mm. mental health is as important as the physical health. It is very important. And what the, the countries that are putting on um, curfews on their people, they are not really considering the mental health. Mm. But I think that uh, we will come out a little bit stronger when it comes to our mental health, mm. because we have been able to go outside. We have mm. been able to meet people that we care about outside. Mm. 